This is going to be a uh, walkthrough for folks attending uh, the Thursday the 25th class on Google Sites. And if you don't have a Gmail, then I hope you're watching this. If you do have a Gmail, then you probably don't need to. Um, you'll, be, you'll be all set. So if you don't have a Gmail, first thing you can do is create an account. Now, I, I do want to start by saying that you, in the past, you could create a Google account with an existing like Yahoo Mail or Comcast.net but Google every year that I've been following Google is getting less and less happy with that and they just want you to make a Gmail um, so that's what we're gonna do so you put in your name and we'll just go Joe somebody choose your name at gmail.com so let's go uh, I like if this is just a, a practice account for you then Name, two numbers, last name is what I always have my students do. First name, two numbers, last name. Password, first name, two numbers, last name. So all they really need to remember is the two numbers. You need to be older than, I think, 13 to get a Gmail. The funny thing is, if you, if you who, Put the wrong number you can totally lie but if you put the wrong number in and then try to change it with the same info they'll think that you're just a kid who's trying to cheat and they won't let you you have to change the username mobile phone you can skip i think see if that's changed current email address this is what you want to put down if you have a a more used yahoo or something else and then this one is to test are we robots So uh, joe22somebody at gmail.com is now active. Um, now you'll know that you are in when you see your name up here in the corner. So let's continue to Gmail. Probably get, a, I think, three. Yep, you get three messages on how to do stuff. But once again, you see our name up here in the corner. Now it's important to know that as soon as you have a Gmail, you actually have everything else that Google makes. And if you want to know what else they make, you can click more and even more. Google does tons and tons of stuff, and you have it all with your Gmail, like a YouTube account. Google bought that. So when you have a Gmail, it's also your YouTube account. Now, the thing that I want us to go to, back to Jay, is these are kind of like the core items up here at the top. These are the most used things. And what else I would like you to activate in preparation for um, this workshop is Google Drive. So if you click on Drive, this is what you see. We're good to go. You don't need to download Drive for your PC. I'll talk about that in this session. You don't really need to. Um, but I just want to make sure that this is active for you and ready to go. And that'll be good. So you got your Drive up. You got your Gmail up, we're ready. When you sign in to anything, when you sign into YouTube, when you sign into Google Calendar, it's always your Gmail. Okay, that's the best thing about this. Is that for students, they don't need to remember everything. They just have that one, and it works for everything. And you sign in once, and then you can go all over the place. Go over to Maps. Look, it knows you're here. You can create your own maps travel trips, itineraries, things like that. Um, that's good. See you Thursday.